I am George. In this makes some custom Minecraft mobs skins. I have all my zombies here done up as scary clowns, as you can see. Of course, daytime, and they're all catching on fire. But what the heck. Okay, let me show you how this is done. I painted the zombie skin here on Planet Minecraft. It's very easy to do. You can actually paint any of the mobs right here. And if you want to have this particular zombie skin, I'll put this link in the description. You can then just go over here and then download that mob right here. And I'll show you how to make the resource pack for this as soon as I show you where I made this zombie skin. So go up to where it says Minecraft. Go over here to the PMC Skin 3D. This is where you make your standard skins in here. Click on the Advanced Edition. There's the zombie skin. Now normally when you come here it's going to show a Steve skin. Let me just show you that Steve skin here. I'll just do that as all the basics. And there you go. You get that basic skin like this or you could have it with the Steve skin already shown on it and it'll work from the Steve skin. But to use a mob or to work with a mob just go up here to File. Same thing. New skin. This time though over here we have the drop down list and then choose the mob you want to work with. Even have the Allay right there so they have all the new mobs. And I came all the way down here to the bottom where we have the zombies. And I did this one for Java. So it's the Java zombie. Click on create. And there you go. There's your basic zombie. And then it's just like painting any other skin here inside of Planet Minecraft. You just choose your colors. Choose the different tool you want to use. This is the Drama, the pencil tool. This one's kind of a random pixel painting tool paint bucket and so forth. And then just go in and paint in what you want to have on your image or on your mob, whatever you feel like doing on, on that mob, just paint it in. This part's pretty straightforward. You just, you know, paint what you want. You can change your colors in here to any other color that you want to use like that. Put in different colors. And this just painting onto it. Now if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out like that. There's also a zoom control over here, right hand side. If you grab outside, you can pull your image around this way and look at different sides, different parts of the image. You can toggle the grid on and off so you can actually see where that grid is. There you go. Now when you're working with the zombie and some of the other mobs, they only have limited things to paint. For instance, on the zombie, there's just one arm and one leg and it works on both sides. So if I did a line right here, notice how that paints on both arms because it's actually just one arm used in the model. Same thing for the legs. It's just one leg on the model in here. And if you paint on one side, it's going to be copying it to the other side. Now this is the outside on this leg. Now you can go over here where it says visible parts and you can show or hide different parts. You can hide the right leg right here. And when you paint this side, go over here, you see how it's been mirrored over here. Now it's not always perfect, notice I need to put in just a little right there. So it isn't a perfect match each time, but it's pretty good. So if I paint it like this, notice how it's duplicating that on that other side. Now to get the inside part, if you care about that, just go over here, uncheck right leg, and there's the inside part. I could paint in this. Now normally these inside sections really don't show up in the game, so it's not that big of a deal. But you can paint the inside just by hiding the leg that's in the way right there. Same thing to the left leg, or I can hide the left arm, or I can hide the right arm Okay, so once you've then painted it up your monster, your mob, any way you want to, all you have to do then is just to, again, see this out to your computer and file, save to file. And I have a working folder right here. I just called it pack. And you can just save it right in here and then choose save. And there you go, downloads and saves that right into that folder that you just selected. Okay, let's go over now and see how you can build a resource pack to load your mob into and get the mob into the game. I'll just go ahead and I'll use this partial one here for this video. Get this out of the way and go over to the desktop. And here we go right inside of my pack folder right there. And there's the file that I just downloaded. Now it's the wrong name. So we need to find the name and we need to find where it belongs, where the folder is. I'm just going to delete this. This is the whole folder structure, but I'm going to show you how you make this in case you want to work with a different mob and not just the zombie. So I'll delete that. I also have a pack MC meta file right here. We'll be talking about this in just a little bit. We also need to have a pack PNG. And I'll talk about that again in just a little bit. But first, let's get our folders set up. Now, for this, you want to open up your Minecraft launcher right here. Of course, it says installations. And then over here with latest release, click on the folder icon right there. And that opens up the Minecraft folder. And in here, come down to where it says versions right there. Open this up. And then in here, find your current version. Right now, I'm in. 
there we go. A lot of this other stuff are pre-releases and beta versions. I should delete some of that one of these days. But find your version, open this up. In here, you're gonna be seeing two files, a jar file and a JSON file. Now, if you only see just a JSON file or just one file, then you have to play the game once, at least as far as the title screen, because that's when the jar file is downloaded the first time you play that version. So if you only see one file, just open the game up to the title screen, close it down again, and you'll have that file. Now, if you don't see the .jar and .json, then you need to enable file name extensions. Make sure where that is. Right now, I'm in Windows 11, so that's up here under the View, and come down to Show, and right here, File Name Extensions, just make sure that that is checked. If you're on Windows 10, just go up to the View tab and put a check next to File Name Extensions. It does the same thing. That gives you that jar file. Let's now get this into my working folder. I'm going to right drag it over here and copy. There we go. We can now get that out of the way. We now need to make this into a zip file and it's real easy to do. Just click into the name, type over the jar and make it say zip. Click outside, choose yes. It's now a zip file. All it was was just a zip file that had the .jar name instead. Let's now open this up. I'm going to right click on this and open in a new window. This is the easy way to do this. There we go. And a couple of things. First off, if you want to use the built-in pack PNG file, this is my custom one. If you want the vanilla one, just on this page right here, scroll way down and right down in here. And it's right there, pack PNG. This is the one that looks like the dirt block. That's all it is. It's pretty boring. For mine, this is a custom one. It's just at 128 by 128 PNG file. And then what I have inside there, it's whatever you want. Okay, in here it's going to Assets, into Minecraft, come down where it says Textures, right there, open that one up. In here we're inside of Entity, all your mobs are inside of Entity. Some are in here if there are more than one look to them, like there are several bees, for instance. There are several cats, several frogs right here. If you scroll down, down here things only have just one look, those are right down here. What we care about are the zombies, and that's right here. Open the zombie up. And there are four of these drowned, drowned outer layer, and the husk, and the regular zombie, which is right here. That's the name that you want. We'll be changing this name over to zombie. So I'm just going to click it on the name over here, and let's just retype this and make it say zombie. That now matches the original file name. That's good. And also, we have that inside of these folders up here. So we need to recreate these folders here inside of our working folder. So make a new folder. The first one is assets. You can see that that's right there. New folder, the next one is Minecraft. Notice that there are no capital letters in here. Let me make this so it's the right size as well. There we go. Inside of Minecraft, new folder. This one is textures. There it is. Get the view correct inside of this one. New folder, this one is Entity. Let's change our view so it's right. There we go. Inside of Entity, new folder. And this one is Zombie. Then I'm gonna change the view here so it's the right size. There we go. Inside of here is where I wanna put that other file. So it's back up to our pack folder. And that's this one. I'm just going to right click and copy. And we'll go inside of our folders. There we go, right click and paste. There it is in the right location. And let's again, fix our view on that. There we go, okay, that's all set. So we have our folders, we have our new skin, we have our pack PNG. Now we need the pack MC meta. This used to be included in the jar file. It's no longer included in the jar file. So we need to get that someplace. And I just made it easy. I put this up on my website. You can just download it from the website. Let me show you that page. Here you go, I'll put this link in the description. Now, if you want to code your own, there's the actual code right here. And I'll tell you how to do that in these short paragraphs. If you want to do it the easy way, just click on the pack that you need for your particular format. You see there's all the different versions in here. And we're using pack format nine. Just click on it, download the zip, and then extract it from the zip file. So that's all taken care of. And that's what we get right here. Now I open this thing up inside of Notepad++. It's a great and free code editor. It's my favorite. Open that up right here. Now all we need to do is just to 
rename it zombie. If you're working in 119.2, which I'm at right now, that's format 9. And then just give it a name. Again, I'm calling mine zombie. So that's done. That's all I have to do with the pack MC Meta. And we're now all set to make this into a resource pack. You want our folders over here. Hold the control key down, get that pack MC Meta and the pack PNG, just those three pieces. Right click, compress to zip file. I am in Windows 11, so that's how you do it in Windows 11. Give it a name. I'll call it Zombie. If you're in Windows 10, just go up to the Share tab and click on Zip. Same thing. And just give it a name. Okay, we now need to get this into the game. So I'll bring the launcher back up again. Let's get this thing out of the way. We're done with that. Here's our launcher. Go right here to that folder again. Now this time, I want to come into the Resource Packs folder right here. Open this up. Here's my clown zombie skin right there. I'll take the zombie and just drag it and drop it right into this folder. There you go, it's all set. Close that down, we're done with that. We can now play the game. Click on play, let the game load up, and then we'll activate that new zombie pack. Here I am in the game. Hit the escape key, choose options, resource packs. There's my clown zombie, I'll take him out. And then I'll scroll down there's my new zombie file, the one that we just made. Click that, bring that in. There we go. Choose done. Let that load that pack in. Choose done again. Back to game. I have my zombie spawn egg right here. Let's go ahead and spawn some zombies and see what this looks like. There we go. There's our new zombie look that we just did over there in Planet Minecraft. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Make sure you check out my channel for a whole bunch more of these Minecraft custom videos, and I'll see you next time.